This is the uh, Webster Electric or Webcore uh, record changer, three-speed automatic record changer with automatic shutoff from 1953. Um, these were very well built and generally very trouble-free. Uh, not the case with this one, of course, otherwise it wouldn't be here. Um, a couple of things that happen on these things is the basic operation. These don't give you a regular switch like regular record players. This one starts when you lift up the arm. Underneath, at the base, back under the board here, is a switch, which is over here because I have it taken apart. When you lift the arm up, a bracket pops off that switch and starts the motor running. So that whenever it's off the rest, the motor's running. When it shut, it does the last record, it comes over, sets back down on the rest, and it pushes down on this white nylon switch and turns it back off. As far as the uh, the record handling goes, it has the arm back here. <clears throat> this is the, the indexing arm, they call it, and that begins the cycle. This will be the first thing that happens is this moves in and touches the side of the record to determine whether it's a 7-inch, 10-inch, or 12-inch record. This bar here is the stabilizer bar and also for the automatic shutoff. <clears throat> This has the typical mouse fur turntable, which disappeared around 1955-56 when they went to the all vinyl. But uh, this one's in fairly good shape. A little bit of needle mark on it, which you expect over the years. Now, the interesting part about this, this is the transmission of the record changer. To get this out, oh my word, you don't want to do it, but you're going to have to in order to do it right. Because you can't get to this part in here to lubricate it without it being taken out. And unfortunately, the way they did it, <clears throat> you have to re begin by removing the tone arm assembly, which is held together by the, the trip arm assembly, which is all these parts here. This is where I make the, the digital pictures as you take the parts out. Uh, the first parts that have to come out is the, uh, <clears throat> the velocity trip assembly, which is right on the base of the tone arm shaft. And uh, you see this little screw right there that looks like an allen head screw it's not an allen head screw it's a bristol screw get a bristol screw uh there's nothing else like it it has very sharp edges i sometimes call them a snowflake screw and there's a special driver for them fortunately i was able to loosen that with a normal slightly smaller allen wrench but they're a, a, a little bitch to get to get out but anyway i'm going to go over this when i reassemble it to show you how it fits in there um, there was no way to do this beforehand because there's just so much going on. But anyway, in, in the transmission, underneath here, this is what makes the whole thing happen, whether it, it plays or it goes through the cycle. This little teeter-totter, the ratchet dog, is normally in that position, and it lets the this part, top part, is always moving until the trip comes over and tells it to start. Hello, come on. What did I do here? Oh, I think I know what I did. All right. Oops. <laughs> this is live TV, folks. All right, there we go. Now it's in the cycle. Hard to show. Now that it's in the cycle, this, is, this part here is the lifting lever, which lifts the arm up and also moves it over to the right position. Comes back like that. And then the arm down here, this is the trip out arm, it also resets that little teeter totter uh, pole to reset it for the next thing. Now it's in the play position, and this thing is just going to travel. However long, whenever the turntable's on, this thing's just going to keep going around and around. But it's very sticky, and it's not letting the automatic operation happen correctly. So that's got to be done. This is a, a single purpose control here. This is both the speed control and the reject. Push down to reject and turn to change the speeds. But anyway, uh, as I say, we're going to go into the more of the operation on this in the next video. So stand by.